Mr. Hickser, would you answer some quick, quick oh, questions? No, be gone. Daily Mail, front page news. Just answer some questions. Johnny Hickser's oh, name, no, yes. Be gone. Wait. Sir? Sir? <laughs> Chancellor, are you alright? Who's, who's there? It's me, Chancellor. I've been sitting here for hours. Uh, waiting for you to awake. Yes, of course, forgive me. I had the, had the nightmare about the photographers again. I don't understand. I have not taught you enough. You are being blinded to reality. To truth, I shall teach you then. Teach me what? For years now, we have lived under the view of that dogmatic fool, Master Plato, and the belief that body and soul are tied together. Part of soul and body dualism. You don't agree with this view, Chancellor? Of course I don't. True, the dualist belief over a lot of what Master Plato believes. But he is wrong. I do not believe the traditional belief of body-soul dualism. I adopt a more materialistic approach. But, Master, doesn't that weaken the possibility of life after death? Not at all. Plato might have shouted that, he might, but frankly, it does not. I don't know why you're telling me this, Master. I need you, I need you to understand what is going on. If any of this leaks out, I fear Master Plato will not take too kindly to me disagreeing with him. But you are the Supreme Chancellor of the Philosophical Republic. They cannot touch you. The Platonic Order always strive for perfection. And I am the taint in the perfection. They are very narrow-minded. They do not see. I do not totally reject dualism. You reject body-soul dualism? Indeed. Yet I do not rule out the possibility of mind and body are different entities. There may be some aspect of people that is non-physical, even if I argue of a materialistic approach. This, though, is what I call the mind-brain dualism, something Plato would disagree with. They are not like dualism in the traditional platonic sense. Well, why summon me? I need your help, my friend. For my plans to succeed, I need a powerful philosopher supporting me and as such, there is such a philosopher among the ranks of the Platonic Order. His name is Aristotle Skywalker. His view on this matter of life and death and the soul is complicated, yet I believe I can turn him over to my side. Shall I summon him? Do so. Thank you, Your Excellency. Do you want to be Chancellor? Yes. Yes, I did. Well, here I am. I can see that. Tell me, have you heard the tale of a bishop known as Tertullian? No. I did not think so. It's not a story that Master Plato would tell you. Tertullian was a bishop who was cast away because he believed something heretical. Heretical? What was that? He argued that souls were passed down from parents rather than just traditional belief that they are implanted by a horse. But do you agree with this monster? You are wise, Aristotle. It fits with what I believe. He influenced what I believe. But I thought you advocated dualism. In public? Yes. Only to stave away from Master Plato. But I'm tired of being a pawn to him, just as you are to him. What did you say? Ever since I've known you, you have been searching for the truth, and you are torn between agreeing with your master or agreeing with the truth of your own. Listen to what I have to say about everything. No, I, sh I shouldn't. But you can't help yourself, can you? No. 
Master Plato has blinded you. Use my knowledge. Use my thinking. Tell me, please. When we talk about the soul, I believe we are describing the mental characteristics or aspects of our personality. They describe their behavioural dispositions. Hence, to talk about the soul is a way of expressing value to all of us. What about life and death? Here is where my replica theory comes to play. Although I think that this theory, which is mine, is not logically possible, I do suggest it can change the way matter functions that become logically possible. Life after death is not an unreasonable belief in my mind. Why could be then? Plato would disagree, however. With my replica theory, I try to show that life after death does not depend on human beings having souls in the platonic sense. You must remember that humans are a psychophysical unity and the death of a soul is the death of a person. Are you saying there is no separate soul to live on? Precisely. There it is, therefore, logically possible for the all-powerful force to recreate us in another world, such as heaven. What do you mean? Do you have experiments to defend such thoughts? I do indeed. Say, for example, the man were to suddenly disappear from Coruscant and reappear on Poe's Massa. Presumably, there would be the belief that he is the same man that disappeared from Coruscant. And there would be tests to establish the so-called replica was identical. Agreed? <laughs> yes. Good. How? Say that the man died at Coruscant and was recreated on Polis Massa. We would identify him as the person on Polis Massa rather than the dead body on Coruscant. Therefore, if that man did indeed die on Coruscant, surely it is possible that the force could recreate him in another galaxy. The key to, ident to identity is true memories, my friend. So if I understand your theory correctly, if the recreated replica remembers their former existence, there are grounds for claiming that it is the same person. Very good. That is correct. Yet you are going against Plato with every word you say. Are you going to turn me in for what I've said? I have to. I know you do. But consider this. If I die, you will be a pawn of Plato. Speak with you. Aristotle, what, what is it? I've just learned a terrible truth from a great man. John Hick does not believe in body soul dualism. What did you say? He disagrees with you about body soul dualism. Are you sure? Absolutely. Then our worst fears are realised. We must move quickly to make sure the Platonic Order survives. Master, I must go with you. Don't think it's too powerful. No. For your own good, stay out of this affair. I sense much confusion in you, Aristotle. Yes, Master. Wait here. This errand won't take long. Ah, Master Plato. You are here earlier than expected. In the name of the Platonic Order, you are under arrest. Are you threatening me, Master Philosopher? The philosophers shall decide. I am the philosophers. Not yet. It's treason, then. You are under arrest. I was stopped I told you. They do is attempting to destroy my beliefs. The oppression of anti Jews and thoughts will never return. You have lost. No, 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 you have lost. You can't, he must live. I am going to end this. His beliefs in substance dualism, his beliefs in Deutalian, his beliefs about the replica theory, it all ends here. He's too dangerous to be kept alive. My beliefs will be forgotten if he lives. I need him. Oh, I can, I can, I can, I, I can. 
Oh, please don't let him kill me. <laughs> no! Knowledge and liberty. Knowledge! It is a shame you do not believe in my medical theory. Otherwise, you would believe to be born. What have I done? You are fulfilling your destiny, Aristotle. Now a new theory about the soul and life after death shall arise from the ashes of Plato. It is all up to you. Let the modern age thinking begin.